Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to make chocolate chip cookies, and um, as you can see in front of you, I already have um, here. There's brown sugar, which is 140 soft, 140 gram soft brown sugar, and then 120 gram of butter. So. What you do is you need to whisk this until it's um, creamy. So yeah, make sure the butter is soft there. Uh, if the butter is not soft, um, it's not going to. Um, you see? <laughs> so I decided to change the whisk. The big one is giving me so much headache. Now, um, just remember, um, yeah, because. I did soften the butter, but the thing is, like, it's, um, okay, so this is a better lighting. Now, as you can see, the uh, soft brown and butter has already, it's already creamed, and it has turned a, a very pale color. There's still, you can still feel the um, uh, sugar. But I think this is fine now. A bit more. Now, the next step is for you to add in the um, one small. I'm looking at my um, recipe book. Uh, one small egg, lightly beaten. So you pour in the egg. I have beaten it already. Now, make sure that you don't splatter all over the place, so lightly mix it. It's going to go lumpy, as you can see, it's going to go lumpy, yeah, look at that, but it will combine once you incorporate every single uh, mixture. See that? Yep. So it has turned back into the texture just now. Okay, so in here I have. Um okay, I forgot to mention um, you've got to put about three quarter teaspoon of um, vanilla essence. So, I'm going to do that right now. 3 quarter teaspoon. I'm using a very good high quality um, vanilla essence. Oops. There we go. So, 3 quarter teaspoon. Oh, you can always do 1 teaspoon. I really like the vanilla flavor. Just pour in there. Oh, thick gooey mess. I love it. So just scrape it. Like I said, no wastage. You should not waste anything. This this particular thing is quite expensive. The, um, the vanilla essence. It's not really vanilla essence. It's actually pure vanilla bean paste, and it's very hard to get right now. Um, I can't seem to find it in, uh, when I went to the um, the store. The the supermarket the other day. So yeah, just, yeah, just mix it in. It smells really good. The vanilla bean paste really, really um, turn everything very sweet, very creamy kind of smell. So, so for the chocolate chips, as you can see, it's not really all together all chocolate. I've combined um, oh, chocolate chip, uh, white chocolate and um, butterscotch chips. So you can do whatever you want. You can just go for all white, all chocolate and all uh, butterscotch. I just want to have um, three flavors in mind. And uh, the uh, chips that I'm using is from Nestle and the chocolate chips is from 
um, Hershey's. They've got huge, huge, um, huge chips, so. Yep. Combine it all together. Combine it well. It looks pretty already. Um, if you want, you can have more chips if you want. I think, I think I'm going to go for more. I mean, you can't have any. You can never have enough chips. So I'm going to put a bit more. I'm not following the recipe to to a tea, but I think that you know you can always mix and you can always um, do whatever you want. Um, that the recipe also calls well the instead of 120 grams of um, chips, um, it actually calls for 70 grams of chips and then another 50 grams of um, macadamia nuts. But I don't have that on hand and so. <coughs> And so, chips it is. So once you have that combined together, so you're just going to put it into onto your tray. Now, um, they said to um, put butter on your tray, but I just want to line it. Yep. So I'm just going to put that onto the tray, and I'll be right back. So, um, out of that, I'm going to make a few batches. Now, I'm just going to put six in here first, and then, um, oops, <laughs> and then just to um, let them cook. Um, the temperature is at 160 degrees. I uh, know, sorry, um, 175 to 180 at first, and after that, you just put it to 160 so that the cookies doesn't burn and what I like to do is I like to do this just flatten it out a bit so that when it cooks it cooks um, quite even just flatten it just a little bit don't need too much yep so um, I'll show you when it's ready. Okay, everyone. So now that um, um, I have you, you need to remember when you take it out of the um, oven, you need to leave it to cool. So how do you know that it's um, it's uh, it's cooked? So you just put in. I'm not going to use a big fork like this. This is a toothpick. So you just insert it in. Let me take it out. There's nothing on it. That means it's already ready. Um, and yeah, that's how it looks like. So I'm just going to continue on later. And um, so that's it for now. Um, um, I'm going to continue with the rest of the cookies. Mm. Soft and chewy. Stupid. Quite warm and lots of chips on that. So I will leave the um, let me see, let me see if I can remember this. Ah, I'll be leaving the um recipe on the sidebar right there. I think, yep, I think it should be so. Um, I'll leave it there and um, if you need any measurements um, you know you can google it up uh, because I'm just going to put in um, uh, in I don't know in metrics or whatever but it's in grams so you can just determine whether you want it to use uh, in grams or in cups you can just go to the internet and you can use some uh, you know there's a few measurement tools there so have fun and if you do try it and do a video response to this video right below. Yep. And um, hope to see you guys very soon with another recipe. Um, take care and um, have a nice day. Bye bye.